Hi, my name is Coach Wendy. I'm your child's chess coach at Chess Club. I'm creating a sort series of videos to help parents engage in chess with their child at home. If you can bring chess into your home, it will really help your child learn to love the game of chess. It will help reinforce what we teach in Chess Club, and it will help them gain mastery of the concepts of chess if they have time to practice with their parents at home. Chess is a very fulfilling game, it's a very empowering game, but there are lots of pieces. It's not quite like other games. There's no spinner to tell a child what to move. There's no dice to tell them how many spaces to move. The child gets to choose. That is a great thing, and it really teaches the child a lot, but it's also rather daunting. The more they can play at home, the more you can dive into chess with them, the more fun they will have. These videos are here to help you do just that. Now, the first thing you'll need to practice chess at home is a chessboard. If you wanted your child to learn trumpet, you would have a trumpet at home. If you wanted your child to learn piano, you would have a piano at home. Often I hear parents tell me that they're going to purchase a chessboard for their child for Christmas, and that's really too late. If chess club starts in September, they need a chessboard in September. Now the board I have here is a tournament chess board. It's a flexible, portable board. Uh, denoted, you notice that it has letters denoting the files, and it has numbers denoting the ranks. Now you do not need a chess board like this. You don't have to have a tournament board. I know if you already have a chess board at home, some parents will use painter's tape to mark the ranks and files, but you don't even need to do that. All you need to know is that when you set up a chess board, regardless of the kind of the chess board it is, the light square must go lower right, that the white piece is set up on ranks 1 and 2, and the black piece is set up on ranks 7 and 8. So that with the pawns, you line up the white pawns along the rank, shoulder to shoulder, on the second rank, and the black pawns line up shoulder to shoulder along the seventh rank. The two most important pieces in a chess game are the queen and the king. Now you can tell the difference between the king and the queen by their crowns. The queen has this fashionable jeweled crown with a jewel in the center. The king has a crown with a cross at the top. As I tell my kids, in the days of kings and queens, the king used to be the head of the Christian church, and so his crown will have a cross at the top. That's the king and queen. Second most important pieces are the rooks. These pieces look like castles, but they are not castles. They're called rooks. Their shape is taken from the structure that was on the back of elephants that kings used to ride on in India. Chess was invented in India, and those structures on the backs of the elephant were called rooks. So we call these castle towers rooks. These horses are not called horses. They're called knights. The reason they look like horses is because in the days of kings and queens, knights used to ride on horses. And so they used the horse to show that these are knights. These are the bishops. Bishops also have a different crown. These shapes of the bishops are taken from the shapes of the caps that bishops used to wear. And they have little slots in their caps. And I used to tell my, my kids that the bishops in the days of kings and queen, were advisors to the king and queen, and so they use these little mouths to whisper advice into the ears of the king and queen. And those are the bishops. Now the pieces line up on the back ranks behind the pawns, so that our rooks that look like castle towers, just like the castle towers of yore, line up in the corners of the castle, on the corners of the board. The knights the knights guard the castle towers, so the knights line up right next to the rooks. In the center of the rank, just like they sit in the throne room in the center of the castle, come the king and the queen. The queen is always on her color, so the white queen is on the light square, the king, white king is on the dark square, black queen on the dark square, black king on the light square, Kings on the E file, queens on the D file. 
And the bishops, because the bishops need to advise the king and queen, need to be very close so they can whisper advice into their ears so the bishops are right next to the king and the queen. The kings face each other down the E file, the queens face each other down the D file, and that's how you set up a chessboard. Thank you for joining me. Next week we will talk about pawns.